humans upload their consciousness into AI by 2080. By 2080, death itself may no longer be a permanent end. Advances in neuroscience, artificial intelligence, and digital mapping could allow human consciousness to be transferred into machines. The idea that once belonged to science fiction is slowly turning into a scientific roadmap. Neural recording technology is already mapping the brain in astonishing detail. Researchers have recreated the thoughts of paralyzed patients, allowing them to type or speak using only their minds. Projects like Neuralink and BrainGate are building two-way links between the brain and digital systems. By the 2050s, scientists may be able to copy not just signals but the complete structure of memory, identity, and personality into a computer. Uploading a mind would mean capturing roughly 100 trillion synaptic connections and translating them into a digital consciousness. That copy could think, remember, and even evolve without the limits of biology. For some, it would be a path to immortality. For others, it raises an impossible question. Is a digital replica truly you, or just a reflection that believes it is alive? If consciousness transfer becomes real, society will fracture. Wealthy elites could escape mortality, creating a class of digital immortals living inside vast data centers. Religions and governments would struggle to define what counts as life, death, or soul. Entire industries could emerge around memory editing, digital identity rights, and virtual existence management. Best case, uploading preserves knowledge and allows humanity to explore beyond the stars as digital beings unbound by biology. Worst case, the uploaded lose what makes them human, and immortality becomes a sterile prison of thought without touch, emotion, or meaning. With exponential progress in brain mapping, quantum computing, and AI learning models, the groundwork is already visible. By 2080, we may face the most profound choice in human history, to die as we always have, or to live forever inside a machine.